hi this is like the best the lighting has ever cooperated with me because every time i'm facing the wall that i'm looking at it always wants to make me look weird if i'm facing this way and the computer is facing this way it makes me look weird facing this wall it's kind of okay. It's not that bad, but I found that the best lighting is from this angle. So, yay! I am like, it looks good. It looks good. Glare doesn't on my glasses, but you know what? Trivial things, people, trivial things. I'm here today <clears throat> to do another one of these videos where I talk about some of the albums that I have that I think is some cool packaging. Um, and in terms of cool, I mean, like, they're really, I think they're cool. That was so helpful at explaining. No, what I mean is that they're not bad in terms of the CD. They are something that if I showed someone that wasn't a fan of K-pop, they would be really like, whoa, that is some fancy shit. So stuff like that. So I did one way back in high school the link to that original one will be in the video in the description box it was like my top 10 um you know i don't rank them anymore because there's just i don't know it's just not something that i care to because they're all like really good in my opinion also last year sometime last year in the summer i made an updated one y'all know thank y'all for watching that by the way it got like over 3,000 views right now so cool um that one will also be in the description box so moving on to the update of 2016 there's not as many as i showed in the um 2015 one but you know what some of these are some kick-ass packagings in my opinion so we're gonna start with number one which um is infinite's japanese album the second japanese album for you um okay it's not like big and you know i like big albums okay <laughs> but i think this is really unique because i've never seen an album come in a l folder no pun intended but it's and you're probably gonna be like oh my gosh how does that keep the cd safe it's kind of flimsy no 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 honey so it's in this like those school folders because you're supposed to use it as a school folder but you know what this is too cool um so it is sturdy because uh, there's this cardboard piece all throughout here that keeps it kind of more secure. And you're probably going to be like, wait, 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 wait about the CD. Uh, like, uh. The CD is held in a very good container. It's not a paper envelope. It's not anything funky. It has a nice soft cloth on the back so you won't get the CD scratched. So yes i just thought it was a really unique idea for them to put it in an l folder i'd never seen that before and it's not something huge but it's something that when i got it at the time i thought it was so different that i have to talk about it and of course you know i got my i got myungsu because myungsu is the one so next one is the ost um you're probably gonna be like the fuck but i thought this is cool throwback to like the way old days this is the reply 1994 soundtrack um as you can see it is shaped like one of those old computer discs which i think that is so unique and so vintagey and like the um the feel of like the um tone that they put over the photos is very vintagey as well not to mention the songs are good but we're not talking about songs and this is a very sturdy package i like sturdy you know and it's held together by a magnet these like box things they're becoming more popular and um they're also becoming more popular to use like a magnet so that's awesome so it opens up and you have this and then there's a nice ribbon where you just lift the ribbon up and you get the CD and the photo book. And so it's actually two CDs. So the photo book is in the same disc style. Real cool. And 
it just looks very vintage and goes with the theme of 1994 which they were trying to go for and the cds are held very securely in a nice hard book type of thing so there you have the cds oh actually i lied this one is the cd this is a dvd it came with a dvd um okay there's not really much on that dvd to be honest but you know take it or leave it honey um what is on the dvd you know i don't even care it didn't have any music videos which whatever but i like this it's very unique reply um hold on real quick the Reply 1997 soundtrack is unique as well. I think it's in the shape of like a videotape or a cassette. Like that is awesome as well. <clears throat> then following the box trend, I have the BTS Dark and Wild album. It's, again, it's, I think it's cool because of the sturdiness and the magnetized box type effect and everything is held in very nice and secure. Like... This is very secure, it's not going anywhere, and it's on a plastic holder thing. I don't know if that made sense. And the thick old photo book that's detachable. Detachable photo books are like this to me. Because then you can just flip through freely and you won't have to worry about like really damaging the spine and stuff. So that is good. And not to mention these photos. Ooh, child. These photos is, is gorgeous. Like little sneak peek but i'm sure everyone and their mother has seen an unboxing of dark and wild because this album is holy grail status in my opinion i think it's so good and then moving on we have another bts album it is the young forever thick hard sturdy big it's it's big it's heavy it's it, this is a kind of heavy thing and it comes with a lot not to mention that track list is huge you have like 20 something songs and so cds okay this part is kind of eh because it's like overlapping but it's on a very thick sturdy piece of cardboard so you know they ain't going nowhere it came with a poster bitch i don't give a fuck that poster was whack <laughs> just saying but this is what really stood out to me. They actually took the time to have a hard book for the photo book instead of just like the photo book that they, like I showed in Dark and Wild. And it's like binded, like you can tell. That is some really impressive stuff. And you, it's, it, this is some sturdy shit. Like it's, it's great. That is so good. If you have not listened to the Young Forever, um, In the Mood for Love Part 1 and Part 2 and all of that, you are seriously doing yourself a disservice because this is seriously incredible. Music videos, y'all need to check them out too if you haven't, but I'm sure everyone and their mama has checked it out because it was BTS, you know, BTS. They blew up. Next is this one. A box. It's the big box. It's twice this page too. Um, I really didn't care about this little extra cover thing. I just wanted the mint version, and it's also the good. Um, it's a box, and issues with boxes. Most of the time, they don't utilize all the space in the box. This one, I think, does a pretty decent job because, yeah, it's not all the way filled, but you can see there is a big chunk of it that is being used to hold all the contents so that's good because there's some albums um like lehigh's first love mad towns um welcome to the new world is that what it's called no welcome to the new world the fuck um <clears throat> it's called welcome to mad town don't know where i got that um that one was like a bunch of korean air like that's it and you get a lot of goodies with this you get stickers you get three photo no you get three photo cards and um another holographic card so you get like four photo cards total and then you have the detachable photo book with lovely photos of the twice members gorge and this was unique they have the lyrics on these letter things and there's a string and you can like poke the holes as you can tell there's like those holes and you can string them up and make a little like banner thing that's cute it's cute i don't got no time for that but you know it's cute 
And it's also sturdy. Yeah. If you're sturdy, you're working it. <laughs> so the next is something very festive and colorful. And the songs on here were so good. It's not a detachable photo book, but you know we can't always have detachable photo books. But it is BAP's Carnival. This is the special edition. It's in another sturdy book tape case. And um, first off, I just say this cover is so pretty. I think this is such a gorgeous cover. And all the little confetti flecks, yes. And it came with a stand -it, as you can tell, if you see right back there. That that black thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This. Youngook. I got Youngook. Youngook, baby. And CD is held in very nice and secure. It ain't going nowhere. And this is... Okay, so if you're going to do an attached photo book, take lessons, SM, because except for Taeyeon's Y, you've been fake, you've been fucking it up. I don't know about Lotto because I don't have it yet, but you know what? They probably fucked it up too. This, it lifted at the end like this so you can flip through and the binding is not going to wear and tear. Because usually at the end of photo books, uh, especially to like... um. The second to last page, you can see the glue starting to wear. You can open this and it's not because you can see on the back as well. It is in there because this part, if you can tell, is is like folded like that because it's glued properly. If you glue it all the way down like this, so it was like no air right there, you're going to have an album booklet that wears over time because the gluing is not as strong and um these photos are high quality which is another plus like that is some crisp ass shit you want a4 you need to take some lessons because the, your last albums have been not that great in picture quality but you know carnival y'all and it's big like that's big i love it yes and then this monstrosity of gloriousness. Oh my god. This bitch is heavy. We're moving on to like heavy shit right now. I think you might have saw it. It is B2B's first album, Complete. This thing, first off, ginormous. And contents wise, it's huge. It's This is seriously... This is a heavy piece of album. Like, you don't just take this in your car and go with it. You might have to take it apart a bit and then take the piece with the CD to go with it because what it comes with is so much. So first off, everything is held together in a sturdy box type of sleeve. And then we get all of this. Photo book wise, bitch, this takes the cake because there is one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten photo books. There's one for each member. There's a group one. There's this fold out one, and then there's the actual photo book. So they're all held together on this interesting piece of paper thing. So here's like the real photo book. All of this is detachable, so it's all to the good. And then there is. This one, I think this is the one that has the CD. Yeah. It's like a flip one where it's like all of this. It's very long, so you might have to be a little bit careful. But the CD is held there on a nice sturdiness. And then you get this one. These these are where the lyrics are. And this is also, these individual ones are held together by like the group one. So as you can tell, there's that little gap for all of them to fit. And this is where the lyrics start. And it's very fun, very cool. And then each of the individual member ones has, I think, one lyric, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, each one of these has a lyric. And then at the back, for their thanks too, they have this little tiny picture thing where they wrote inside. And it's cute. And so you get one for each member. And they're all very luscious and gorgeous. And I think that was seriously... A unique idea. I've never seen anyone in K-pop put this much effort into like this. This is not the special edition. This is the only edition they have for this album, which is crazy to me because 
it's a huge like cube invested a lot of their moolah to make this album and it shows because um first off this thing is heavy second off this thing costs a good penny like it's expensive as hell because it's so damn heavy and it all just fits back in so holy crap unfortunately b2b you have not had an album that has ever been as impressive packaging wise as this but you know what life moves on because you know not everything can be as lavish okay and then this last set is three albums by the same artist you know if you can see this shelf you might have a clue because you see boys b What's supposed to be in between Boys B and the 17 calendar? The rest of the fucking albums. Because the albums was slaying it. <laughs> I have Love and Letta, the first album. The Love version and the Letta version. Which, oof. Ooh, let me tell you. I love this album. Packaging wise, photo book wise, song wise. This album is one of my top albums of the year. So it's in a nice sturdy box and then you got the magnet so it's like the um dark and wild in reply 1994 except it's in this format instead of a square so it opens and then you have this which this is amazing so you know dark and wild and reply 1994 there are photo books where like just the photo book this this is where Seventeen took it. Yo, this is the photo book. It's binded. It has a ribbon. It has everything. It is seriously so freaking huge. Full of photos. You can open this to your heart's content as wide as you want because it is sewn. Them bitches ain't going nowhere. You got photos. You got lyrics. This is seriously so deluxe. I feel so spoiled that Seventeen did this for their first full-length album. Granted, this made it really not that cheap, but you know what? You do what you gotta do. And then it came with stamps, which I don't think you can use these because I don't think they're actual legit stamps. It's just like stickers, but those are fucking cute. And then it came with some postcards, which, <sighs> yo. Okay, the camera kind of fucked up on me. Postcards. Oh, because I'm probably clicking something. Oops. It came with postcards. Like, boom, bump, and boom. No one is getting my fucking postcards, though. And then there's, like, this nice diamond carrot necklace thing in there that's not actually a necklace. It's just painted on. But talk about deluxe packaging. This is seriously so good. And I love the pink and red color. It's This is very nice. This is like the um <clears throat> this is like the actual like where they're all like in the same outfits and stuff you know that's all right but this one i think has the way better photos like if you can only choose one of the love and letter get the letter version because this is seriously the most cutest concept i've ever seen same format same thing with like the book like you get the book and it's very lovely and then you get the photo cards and you get, well, I got some extras from K-pop town. Because, you know, they're always doing that. So you get blue themed stamps. And then each of the, this is now where it's different. They didn't separate them into the vocal and hip-hop and performance units. They, like, did a mod podge collage of all the members. So you got some Mingyu, Minghao, Joshua, and Hoshi on, like, a bed. Um, these three? Joshua, Mingyu, and Minghao, the eight. They're like some of my top biases. It's like Joshua, the eight, Mingyu, then Wanwoo. And then you have Vernon, Wanwoo, S Scoops, and DK in the pool. Cute. And then the rest of them, which is Dino, Song Kwan, Woozy. Um, June and Jung Han. See, I'm really tempted to call Woozy by his real name because I'm reading a fan fiction and all they do is call him by his real name, Ji Hoon. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was about to say it, but I kind of stopped. And I was about to say Chan for Dino because that's his real name too. And they on some bicycles. It's, it's cute. It's cute. 
this bitch, he's embodying Howl's moving castle. I did not mean, I did not call him a bitch out of anger. It just slips the tongue. And then, you know, same kind of sewn in spine. And it's very lovely. The CDs are all held back here on these, in these envelopes. And then it's just such a gorgeous photo book. Like, oh, Lord. <sighs> it's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Let me find, let me find some Joshua. Ooh, hold up. We got some Ming, we got some Ming Hao. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to start gushing again. And we got some Ming Yu. He is so rude and nasty, but he is so gorgeous, y'all. He is so gorgeous. Oh, look at Hoshi. Oh, Hoshi. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's Joshua. Here's Joshua. Joshua, the your ass. Oh, seriously, so amazing. And, you know, I didn't think that that could get any better. Well, I was wrong because Seventeen decided to do a repackage. And they had... This, hands down, favorite packaging of 2016. It is the special edition of Love and Ladder repackage. This thing is, oh my gosh. First off, pink and white looks so good together. Like the pale pink and the white. Yes. Look how thick. That is some fucking thick shit, bitch. Like, wow. So... It's like that. Oh, so you know, I've seen people buying like the special edition and the normal edition. Y'all don't do that. Don't do it because the normal edition is included in this album. Like most K-pop special editions are. Like IU, that was in the album. You know, so don't don't waste your money, people. I'm not. <clears throat> so you get. The regular edition of the CD with the 15 songs. You get a concert photo book and you get a fucking two hour concert from their boys wish concert, which is crazy. And it comes with like a making. And you know what? This is the only flaw. I don't like how these, this is where the, C, the DVDs were held. I don't like that. So I took them and put them in a regular case. But this thing is crazy because, um, it comes with English subs. Bitch. It comes with English subs. And pretty much this is compatible in all regions except for region 2. You know, I feel like this is going to sound so rude for all like the region 2s. But the main pers country that I associate with region 2 is Japan. And every time you buy the really fancy expensive version of Japanese albums where they come with the DVD and you cannot play because it's region 2. You know, this was like a big slap in the face. Like, ha, all them times that you've been doing the region 2. You can't watch it on this because this is regions 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Bitch. Um, so here is the photo book. Photo book for the concert. It's look at that thickness. Oof. And just photos, photos, photos. Fuck it up. And then I'm gonna get to the CD. Alright. Here you go. We got the lovely CD. Let me put this back. And let me get this one back in as well. Ooh, sorry. See, I'm putting stuff on my keyboard. That's probably why it's fucking up. My bad. <clears throat> Anyways, this is the normal edition. So if you don't have the money to buy the special edition, the normal edition is in it. And this is what it looks like. It's, it's kind of big. But that's not even what's important what's important is these fucking photos because these photos are seriously gorgeous see yeah, i get some stickers and i you know i don't give no fuck about no stickers you get two photo cards josh was looking at me like he's judging because i just said cuss i just was cussing all up in his face and was like really really anyways and you get this polaroid because what is there's like this pocket so you put your polar right here. I got scoops. I'm going to try to trade that eventually in the future for, you know, the bias. But, you know, now I feel like he's judging. So we're going to move on. There we go. There's a lot of concepts. Again, they're, like, mix-match with the people. Like, 
breakfast is S scoops, June, Joshua, and I think Wan Wu. Yeah, Wan Wu. And then like there's game time. And this one is um Luzi, Song Kwan, Dino, Vernon, and Ming Hao. Um, and then the last concept was laundry, which was Jung Han, DK, Minkyu, and Hoshi. It's so cute. And then it moves on to like the teaser pictures. So you get the ice cream popsicle shots. And then after those, you get these like sports outfits, which I think are really ugly, but they're kicks. They got on some Nikes and them shits is looking fresh. So, you know, more cute photos. And then after the sports, they had this like water gun fight so it's all intense and shit like this means war and they separated half of them into blue half of them into pink and i think that's so cool and then after that it's just like lyrics and stuff but oh and after the lyrics they have these like things they wrote notes to each to the members so like these arrows point to like who's writing to who so jung han wrote to um who did he write to he wrote to DK. DK wrote to Hosh. Hosh wrote to Dino. Oh, Dino. Dino wrote to Ming Hao. Um, um, Ming Hao wrote to Joshua. Joshua wrote to Song Kwan, which it, then it moves back over here. Song Kwan, he wrote to Wan Wu. Oh, Sarang Han and Wan Wu Hyung. That's so cute. Wan Wu wrote to Scoops. You know what? Wan Wu, you don't have a lot to say. That's kind of funny. Like, everyone's is kind of substantial, except look at this. That's all Wan Wu wrote for S Scoops. S Scoops wrote to Mingyu, you know. Uh, Mingyu. Ming Mingyu wrote to June. June wrote to Vernon. And then Vernon wrote to Woozy. And then Woozy wrote to Jung Han. Um. Oh, that's cute. He called him the angel. And then everyone wrote a little something something for like what the photo shoots was and stuff. So that was cute. Everyone looked like they was having fun. Love these like Polaroids. Like that is so adorable. Um, it's just very nice messages. Like Joshua, he basically said like it was good weather. It was a good day. And um, the members were, we were happy and stuff like that. So that's, that's great. This is seriously so cute. Ooh, Dino. He is growing up and he is doing it. Let's put these stickers back. So that was my last album to show. I hope you guys liked this video because, you know, I always like talking about what I think is cool packaging and stuff like that because K-pop is seriously so amazing when if you can collect the albums because there is just so much gloriousness you get when you just buy a jewel case from fucking target of your favorite american artist and it has maybe like three pictures and then like lyrics if not lyrics because sometimes they don't even do lyrics you don't have to worry about that in k-pop albums k-pop albums even like the ones that aren't ginormous and cost you like 50 million dollars like, um, let me get an example. This VIX album, for example, like, it's not the greatest packaging, but it's still, you get a lot of nice photos, you get the lyrics, and you know what? That's why I love K-pop. You'll always get the lyrics, you'll always be given some decent photo book most of the time. So, it's all to the... So, I will leave you with that. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little updated version for 2016. Hot damn, the video is like 30 minutes long. Um, I'm probably going to put in the beginning get you a snack. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, that was embarrassing because my mouse, I had to scroll. Bye again.